item. It's our way of What? Picking that up? That's a new one. Don't put his cans on. Cans! Got time? Yeah, about 20 seconds. <sighs> Never gets old. Yes, it does. George, 20! He's not gonna listen. You, Alexander! George. The periphery awaits. Callers? Darwin? Just the one. So we've doubled. How many? One. Bearable. Ten! I thought you said one. Oh. Ten seconds. Who do we hire this time? Couldn't afford it. I'll jump in with you. And here we go. George the Cans! What did he say? Put on your goddamn cans! How much time have I got? This is George Scarlatti on all things law. KUJC 1280 AM. Our lines are open for your cases. 509-091 KUJC. <laughs> Let me see if I got this straight. You ran over his dog and you want to sue him for emotional distress. Yes. Do you even know what that means? Taking me to court over an accident is causing me a lot of distress. Ma'am, stress and distress are two different things. They are? I could shoot whoever I want to as long as it's in my own home. That's the law. Where did you even get your degree, man? Why haven't you called the police? Because I don't want anyone to know. <laughs> You know you're live on the air, right? Yeah, but no one really listens to this show. I'm sure it's just background noise, you know? Right? Hello? Hello? Welcome back to All Things Law. Our next caller is Ben. How's it going, Ben? Hello, Ben, you're on the air. Hello? What's your case, Ben? I, uh... I went to prison. For a crime I didn't commit. I'm sorry to hear that, Ben. You looking to get some money from... Which state did, did you go to prison? No, I'm not looking to get any money. I didn't call to ask about that. I, uh, I feel a story coming on. I gotta tell you a story. Go ahead. Should be good. Well, my wife and I, we had this thing, these ongoing battles. You know, she had some, some kind of disorder, you know, like a mental disorder. Uh-huh. Want to take bets on his case? Well, she threatened to call the police, so I'm going to have me taken away. And I said, I never did nothing to you. You can't call the police. My money's on rape. I was a truck driver at the time, and I went away for a few days after that fight. Well, when I came back, I had no idea what was going on. The uh, the police came to my house. They picked me up. Could have raped her in the truck. Big fat guy. He interrogated me for like almost 20 hours. And I told him. I said, look, man, I don't know what the hell is going on here. And he kept yelling at me. I know what you did. You can't hide it from me. <laughs> totally. And then he played a recording of my wife's voice. It was a 911 call she made the day before I came back from my delivery. And she was telling the... Uh, Stick to your script. Dispatcher, idiots. The dispatcher. I was holding her hostage in my truck. That she found a way to get to a phone and that I was going to kill her. Is he for real? Now, that was over 20 years ago. And the truck I was driving was pretty shit. So they couldn't find out Stop where I was. You know, they had to come to my house to get me. Well, when I got home, they were there. They arrested me. And I got 14 years. And no one has heard from her since. Well, you can't win them all. How can I help you, Ben? How can you help me? I've been out for like five years. And all this time I've been trying to figure out what happened to her, you know, who killed her. You, know? you did, yeah. dipshit. Well, about a month ago, I found out she's still alive. 
What? She's alive. I find out where she lives. I went down to Florida, and sure enough, I saw her with my own eyes. She is alive. This is some Scooby-Doo level shit. Fuck it, hey. She lives in this tiny little apartment. Looks the exact same as when I left her. After 20 years, maybe he's lying. She is alive. Good point. How certain are you it's her? I actually followed her into a restaurant once. I got really close to her. I could almost smell her, and I heard her talk. I'm positive it's her. What did you do? Nothing. Bullshit. You didn't talk to her? What could I say? I could think of a couple things. Ain't you the bitch who tried to frame me for murdering you? What was going on in your head? K-U-J-C, what's your case? I My brother just told me to listen in. I love this guy. But let me talk Who's this? My ex wants full custody because she says I hit my kids, but I didn't. Maybe he and I can swap murders like that movie. I mean, not right there and then, but there are ways. You still can. I can't promise that she'll get 14 years, too, but she'll definitely get... No, I don't care about turning you in. That is not George. my question. Stop it. You need to... What is your question? My question is, if somebody did time for something they didn't do... And could prove... You need to hear the other caller. People are loving this. Would they... Christ, how do I put this? What are you getting at, Ben? It's like doing the whole thing in reverse. Top to bottom, bottom to top. What's the difference? I'm not sure. I understand what you're saying. You're saying you want to... I want to know. Would I go back to jail if I killed my wife? <laughs> cool. George? You're not... I mean, I served the sentence. I should... Commit the crime, right? You don't want to be rash here. I am not rash. I spent five years getting ready for this. He's not kidding, is he? I had dreams behind bars. I am out now, but I am not free. She did this. I don't think a jury would see your side of the story like you do. Why not? You, you know, sometimes you get your food and then you pay for it. And sometimes you pay for your food and then you get it, right? He's got a point. Who cares? Am I right? Ben, where are you right now? George, careful. She wanted me to go to jail for killing her. Why shouldn't I? Are you still in Florida? George, watch it. What was that? Whatever he is doing is working. I would like to know where you are right now, if you wouldn't mind. Why? Are you still in Florida? No. Good. Don't go there as long as you have this plan in mind. I just said Florida. It doesn't mean it really is Florida. Where are you right now? I'm in a phone booth. What else? I can't tell you. Your idea of doing this crime in reverse isn't going to work. Double jeopardy does not apply. You'll get more than another 14 years. You've already admitted to the details of your case. The next thing... I never gave you any details. You were Ben, a truck driver who killed his wife and got 14 years for it. I don't think there's, there's a lot of those around. Names and dates have been changed to protect the innocent. Look, man, I don't have much time I'm here. I'm on a schedule, you know. You called here for a reason, didn't you, Ben? You want my help. You're right, and you're gonna help. Why me? You need the attention as much as I do, don't you, George? What do you want? I want my ecstasy's ex-wife to know this. You know what you did. I know oh, where you are. Now you gonna help me do this or what? How do you expect me to- Spread the word. This will all work out. For the both of us. What do you mean by that? Ben? You're gonna help. <clears throat> ben? Go to commercial. Go to commercial! And so do we call the police? And tell them what? I, I don't know. Psst, uh, something. George! So what next? For your family, one number for you to remember. 444. 
Let's make some calls. What can the police do? Not them. The people who will listen. <laughs> 